name is Alexander Nikolaev. I'm from St. Petersburg and working for this team about two years as a media manager and four months uh, as a team manager. I love the history of Warcraft and uh, World of Warcraft. As for me, I'm a 3D artist of this mod. I'm working a bit longer than Jasper, say for three years. I'm from Moscow, but we see each other as well. Team working, team making. What is your Warcraft 3 history? Have you ever played it professionally? I'm not a professional player, but I played a lot uh, in via Battle.net, played a lot of mods. It's been a long time since my brother first brought me that disc with Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. I'm actually a campaign player, so I prefer one player mode because uh, I haven't had my computer with normal internet. I like the story modes in different games. Aside from this project, what do you guys do for a living? I am a business analyst. I study the business of uh, different companies, say what is wrong and what is right, how to fix their business. I'm studying architecture, Moscow Architecture Institute. When I have some free time, I get some job like 3D modeling. Mod is really my hobby and it's my life. And I don't think that I'm going to be an architect. I'll probably be a 3D artist somewhere in some game company. Architect and an analyst. Of what other people do you have in your group? We have another business analyst, another student. All yeah. students, actually. <laughs> nah. We're really very different from different cities, from different countries, different hobbies, and we're all fans of Warcraft. How did you actually decide to start up the project? Many years ago, everybody dreamed about Warcraft Remake, uh, and we started to do it in Warcraft 3. We didn't start as one team at once. But when I was in the team, it was still on Warcraft 3 engine, not Starcraft. 2. Somebody left the project, somebody joined it, so it evolved. At one time, somebody decided that Warcraft 3 engine is too old for our purpose. It's definitely much harder to make things for Starcraft 2 rather than for Warcraft 3, because Warcraft 3 is much simpler. They don't have uh, this amount of uh, effects, systems, mechanics uh, and all that stuff. In addition, uh, the methods that used in Warcraft 3 are like uh, removing some bones from the animations and other things simply different from the StarCraft 2 engine. All of this work definitely demands uh, some more resources. Do you have anyone backing you up financially? Well, yeah, that would be a good thing to, to get something for it. I just appreciate the opportunity to get some practice, to become more skilled, more experienced and uh, even if I don't get any money for this, uh, though that would be sad, of course, I would have a huge portfolio for my future job. I am well fed with the comments and communication uh, with other people. It's cool to know that uh, you are loved, that uh, people like what you do. People appreciate your ideas, uh, the way that you make these ideas come true. And uh, I guess this only increases our enthusiasm when the pocket is empty. Have you thought about Kickstarter, for example, or Indiegogo? Uh, yeah, we are thinking about uh, Indiegogo. That when it's ready, we will launch the campaign and all people that uh, love and support our mode, they could contribute. It's not just uh, making our, us more enthusiastic uh, when we see all this attention that we get from the community, from Blizzard, etc. Some of us work hard on their main job and this money will help these people to choose between their job and working with our mode. What other difficulties may you be facing with Armies of Azeroth? Opinion management. We all are artists and we all have our own vision of the idea creation. And uh, when we are collaborating about uh, any poster or video or even a model, there is a bunch of texts about things that one person want to add and one person want to remove from the model. When you work with uh, different people and uh, you get no money for it, so you don't have an actual uh, leader, for example, you always have to find a compromise between your opinion and lots of other opinions because everyone has, has his own view. It's all about the ability to be polite and... Flexible. Not, yes, yes, flexible, <laughs> yes, that, that's a better word. So we're doing our best to, to discuss only mere things and uh, to find compromise and everything. The fight but, uh, is for the sounds... death. <laughs> but at least it's for a good cause. Yeah, of course. We all know that we argue about the great idea, the great vision of the Warcraft franchise. 
players are already loving your game. Uh, what is the general feedback that you're getting? The most popular question during this time is uh, how can I play your mode? It's on the second place, I believe. The first place is taken by question how to download Warcraft. It's uh, really it's like a map now. And we have to write uh, an instruction about uh, how to play our mode on StarCraft 2 Arcade. It is posted on ModDB. Maybe a bit too complicated for quite a lot of people because lots of our fans are not StarCraft 2 players. They're Warcraft 3 lovers, they're World of Warcraft lovers. They never played StarCraft 2 and uh, lots of them don't even know that StarCraft 2 Star Edition is free and so you can play our mod for free. If we ignore that, most of the feedback is good. Everybody use the words uh, keep up good work. They appreciate uh, the way we made two maps uh, with the Ogre Mount and um, Turtle Rock. Sometimes we get really important and uh, really, really good, nice shaped feedback. Some guys are really, really make their best to tell about everything they can. We really like those guys that send their feedback on our email or in Trello. So if they meet a bug, they don't just write somewhere in the comments. They just write it in a very calm manner and it's very easy to understand him. What other things do you think you'll be adding from the game? What can we expect? Is there going to be a ladder system, for example? This question is very popular too. There are a, a lot of ideas we want to implement in our mode, but there are some technical issues that need to be discussed with the Blizzard developers. There are lots of things that we really want to implement, but it's a very difficult thing to do for us modders. For example, many people ask whether we're going to make our own launcher, because that would be really much easier, and uh, that's the same problem. We just can't make it without Blizzard. And the same thing with the ladder. We really want to, to implement implement the ladder, but just can't do it at this moment. But maybe we'll be able to, to do it later. There are some surprises that could be interesting for our players. First of all, we are developing some uh, local tournament table so that people who are playing with each other will see who is your opponent, how many victories does he have, and what is the chance for him to win. We are going to implement the achievement system, which will include victories on different maps, storing this data on computer. For the player. There are a lot of things that we want to implement in a story mode. A lot of ideas, I guess. The main point is that we're not going to release the whole campaign at once, for example, because we need to see the reaction from the community. It's, it's very important. Once you're done, do you think that you'll be able to bring back the old glory days of Warcraft as an esports discipline? Well, what I can say for sure is that many people will like it. You can't be, well, really sure about how, how many Stop of lying. them. Stop lying. Stop lying. Yes, yes. We will bring these glorious days back to the <laughs> Warcraft universe. The main, uh, well, I believe that the main feature that we're bringing back is that you can make your own maps on our assets. That was the greater thing in Warcraft 3, in the original original Warcraft 3 than all these letters and, and, and all, that you can easily make your own maps. In StarCraft 2 it's uh, much harder to import new models and people who would like to make something, well, fantasy-like, more magic, more Warcraft-ish, they face the problem that there are just no assets for that. We bring just plenty of models, of new models, of textures that will help people to, to make their own Warcraft. Lots of people just can't wait to make their own maps on our mod. It will be the great opportunity for mod makers to use the assets that we are going to introduce. Uh, of course, we will uh, help them to use it. I think that would be very cool for everybody. We want to thank you and your colleagues for paying attention to us, because that's really exciting to talk to our fans, the people that uh, love what uh, we do. We want to thank you next to viewers and people that work there, and uh, we want to wish good luck to everybody and patience till we make the dream come true. I love Bulgaria. I've been there for three or four times. I find it really great country. We really, really hope that we'll make happy as many our friends as we can.